Hey y'all, it's me again, Aika Niru or Aika for short, your friendly neighborhood medium artist oracle here for the day. It's actually nighttime, but you know, you get the gist. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here today with a pick a card message on your love life. Okay. And this is a very, very general read. So it really doesn't matter what your love life situation is looking like, whether or not you're single, you're partnered, you got a situationship, you got multiple situationships, you're monogamous, non-monogamous, you're crushing on somebody through social media, <laughs> whatever that is, or maybe at your local library. I don't know your situation, um, but these messages are here for you. Today, in the near future, I will be getting more specific, so I'll do some videos dedicated to my singles, dedicated for my, my married folks, you know, dedicated for different, you know, um, groups <laughs> under love, whatever your love life situation is. I'll get more specific as time goes on, but for now, we're just going to do some general messages and see what comes up for you, okay? So we got three piles to choose from okay to receive your message about your love life but before we get into that I do want to say hello to anybody who is new here who have who has never met me before who has no clue who it is that I am hello and if you're not new here if you're a friend of mine a loved one of mine and you are gathering with me in this space in this way hello to you as well <laughs> I hope that this in some way makes up for the time that I have not seen y'all, okay? Um, this is my love offering in, in, in replace of my absence, okay? But hello. <laughs> Either way, hello. As we move into these pick of cards, I will ask up front that if anything, if you guys are any insight at any time to validate me with a like, it's very, very helpful to have y'all's feedback I don't like to just shoot in the dark with these things. I love doing these things, but please don't have me shoot in the dark. Please validate me with a like if you do like it, of course. Um, and I would even further encourage you to share with me in the comments anything that sticks out to you, anything that relates to you or resonates with you. I promise you I'm reading them and I will respond. Maybe a little slow, but I will do that. Okay, let me adjust my leg because it's falling asleep. <laughs> But I will read them. I will respond. Um, if you have a story that relates to anything that I say, please feel free to put that in the comments. Um, if you want something a bit more personal, right? You're like, okay, Arika, I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> okay, you said something and it's making me want to share. Okay, but you're not comfortable with sharing them in the comments. There is something that I have called a strawberry letter. Now, if you're from, like, my time, a strawberry letter is very specific. But I have something called a strawberry letter of my own that is linked in the description box. And you can share your story with me there. Now, I may not particularly respond either right away or at all, but I will absolutely read them, okay? You can also, you can also use the strawberry letter to, um, request a topic, right? So if anything comes up here, but you're like, I want to go a bit deeper into that, or my situation is a little different, or you know what I'm saying? It's different, but it can, it may be something that, you know, multiple people may also need insight for. You can um, send me a recommendation or a request to go over a topic on the channel through the strawberry letter as well. And I'm really excited for to use that feature so like please 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 use it okay and if you do use that feature i would then encourage you to subscribe to the channel because even though i will read them i may not respond but i want you to know when and if your video or your recommendation your recommended video there we go shows up <laughs> okay so please 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 subscribe um so that you can be in the loop on that as well. All right. So, um, look at me hitting the camera. <laughs> All right. So back to the piles. All right. Like I said, we have three piles here. 
each one highlighted by a different lighter. Pile one has the I love you lighter. Of course, I have to use this lighter <laughs> for love life messages. Like what? For pile two, excuse me, I have the all blue. Oh, I'm burping. <laughs> the all blue lighter. For pile three, I have like this rainbow bleeding rose lighter. Okay. So you got three piles to choose from. You may decide to choose one pile or you may choose you may decide to choose more than one pile. Whichever floats your boat is up to you. If you get to a pile and you like, you start listening and you're like, mm, this ain't really for me. That is absolutely okay, <laughs> right? I have other re readings and other pick of cards on the channel. And even if those don't satisfy you, there are many other readers out there. And I encourage you to play around and explore. Whatever it is that you need to get the insight that you need, I encourage it, okay? So I'm going to stop talking finally <laughs> and get to the piles if you need more time to choose. Please pause the video and I will see you at y'all's pile. All right, pile one, pile one. <laughs> this is your stop. This is your area. Okay, hello, hello. You chose pile one, this I love you lighter. I heart you lighter. This pink lighter. Um, Before I get started, pile one is always, I, I, I'm noticing as I do these more often, that pile one is always my guinea pig pile. Like, you set the tone, pile one. Um, I won't say you set the tone for all of the readings, but either y'all, it's like putting me in a, a, like throwing me in a glass, or not a glass, a, a pool of cold water, or a lake of cold water. It's like, I'm always in for a surprise with pile one. <laughs> and so, um, if, it, if, if I buffer a little bit, Pile one, it's probably because y'all like taking me on the ride. But okay, for the first message, we got this I love you lighter. Okay, messages for your love life. Whew. I feel a few different things just off the lighter alone. Some of that could be that you really need the affirmation that you are loved. One. Um, that, yeah. That seems to be the strongest thing that's coming through. You need the affirmation that you are loved. Um, that is kind of the thing that you are either looking for in your, your love life or that's something that is, um, that is most cherished to you about your love life. Knowing that you are loved. Having that affirmation that you are loved. Maybe through words or it could just be through actions. However it is that it comes up, it's like you... You like to to feel, you like to know that you are loved, okay? That's what I get from the lighter alone. There was something else that was coming up, but I, it kind of slipped my mind as soon as I said the first thing. I'm trying to see if it'll come back. Okay, not right now. Ooh, pile one. <laughs> you may be, oh, okay. Okay, of course I'm going to pull some more things, but just to start it off, I want you either maybe somebody that is like, you may be like someone that I said earlier, like you may be kind of like out of the dating pool, like you're not really trying to deal with dealing with people and trying to like your love life may not even be a priority at the moment, pile one, right? Either that or, no, that's kind of what I just get the most. Like, your love life is has not or is not a priority, right? And, it, and I kind of get that it's, like, something that you've chosen to do maybe after, like, just one too many, like, fucked up situations, some annoying situations or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you maybe have just been through the ringer in pile one where you're like, I ain't even really trying to deal with all of that, with all of that stuff. And so that's interesting considering the message that we got just off the lighter and I feel like I feel like the message that we got off the lighter is even more um important because because of this uh this message of like withdrawal with 
withdrawal here of like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want anything less than being affirmed in the love. And it could be that hard line that you're taking. Like, I'm not going to accept anything less. But it's also like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you just don't have an idea. That's also another message that I'm getting is that like, it's about not accepting less. But it's also some of you all in power one are just very confused as to what it would look like for like love to be affirmed in your life or for someone to or you know what I'm saying whatever the situation is right to be affirmed in the in love right to get the I love you like you know what I'm saying people could probably say it and you like okay I don't know you know what I'm saying like that's not love <laughs> or something like that it's just there's some kind of resistance and there's some kind of pushing away of just like uh, because it's just kind of confusing pile on maybe so for you maybe it's it's just confusing for you like you like okay like all right you're saying that you love me or maybe I've heard that I love you before and I didn't particularly feel that in the ways that I was expecting or I didn't particularly I don't get that <laughs> from the situation it's kind of what I hear from you, Pile One. So I feel like you just kind of retracted from that. You may kind of dabble in in situations or in people here and there. You know what I'm saying? You may talk to some people just to kind of get you out of your lonely um, or get you out of just like complete isolation. But even still, like your heart ain't really in it, Pile One. You know what I'm saying? You kind of not believing it. You kind of like, a, a bit dismissive I'm not even gonna lie but that's why I said this message from the lighter is even more important of like you know what I'm saying you just really need that I love you to be affirmed like you need it to be a, a good a good foundation right you need it to be like okay if you say it like it's clear to you what it looks like it's not even that like somebody else has to mean it it's just that it needs to be clear to you okay and maybe it hasn't just been clear to you it needs to be clear that the love is in the situation that the that the love is a part of it and maybe that's just some things that you possibly have to work on we'll see in the other cards but maybe this is something that you have to work on you have to you know be a bit more curious pile one about what love in your life looks like or what it feels like like how how will you know when you are loved okay where are the signs and the synchronicities for you and that i mean you can like look to other places like you can look to the internet to answer that question um or like you know what i'm saying kind of go into like what maybe somebody else has said it is but i think that this is something that maybe you could um explore for yourself if you haven't already all right like i mean <laughs> I'm not going to suggest the love languages because I, I I personally feel like there's more to it than that. But maybe that's a good place to start for you. You could also look at, I think other people have expanded on the love languages. So maybe that's somewhere for you to start, right? For And then you can just get even more specific, right? Like, so for example, if like, you know what I'm saying? Love is affirmed to you through touch or through physical touch. Maybe, you know, not just thinking about it in a general way it's like oh I love to be touched while I'm like riding in the car with my person and they you know lean over and touch my hand or something like that or they like you know hold the back of my head when they kiss me something like that just get a bit more specific okay pile one okay so I'm gonna pull some more some more things right Just making sure. <laughs> it's this deck that want to be used. But yeah, Pile One, I'm getting that you kind of like, you could be standoffish, but I feel like that standoffish is not, it, it's part of it is to kind of be like, you know what I'm saying? To not get, to not be in a, a messy situation or you maybe you haven't had the greatest experiences in your love life. 
Um, so you, you know what I'm saying? You may retreat. You may kind of like, like I said, you may dabble here and there, but your heart's not really in it. But I also feel like it's just, it's a bit of, of confusion. Okay. It's like, if you knew <laughs> what to do, you do it. But it's kind of like, you don't know what to do around your love life. And in that case, I'm glad that you're here and <laughs> getting something from it. Look at that. Five of angels to six of angels. And then we got transition. <laughs> okay. So you got ace of trees and of abundance. And then we get one more. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nah. All right. Y'all got to know. I'm one to mess with this camera a million times over. Okay. This ain't your first rodeo. I will adjust this camera a million times. <laughs> but, okay. So we got Six of Angels transition, Ace of Trees abundance, Knight of Hearts, Romance. So, um, let me get a Kitchen Oracle message because I feel like, I feel like that will kind of put things into perspective too. All right, Spice Rack, ancestors or spirits giving you a message, ritual, or recipe to help you. Cooking spoon, a taste of something good to come. And then coffee mug at the bottom of the deck, which is the symbol of good friendships, kindred spirits, and companions. Let's focus, people. <laughs> We're camera. I'm sorry. All right. All right, so with these messages, Okay, pile of one. I told you, y'all always throw me into the water. <laughs> and you like, I hope you come out clear, dearie, because whatever. Okay, so like I said before, this, or like I was saying at the end of the Five of Angels, right, you may need to do some more investigation. You definitely may need to um, just consider more of the specifics of what that affirmation of love is going to look like okay um in the beginning I started to say that romance that these are romantic based partnerships that I'm doing these love life messages for but I didn't say it because romance really doesn't have a concrete definition for me okay it doesn't have a concrete def definition if you look it up it'll just be like expressions of love right and so even when I say romantic based relationships it's like these expressions of love can happen in any relationship, right? From dog to person to child to person or child to adult, between children, between siblings, between, you know, co-workers, all kinds of shit, right? So I didn't say that, but I do feel like in Power One, it's necessary for me to say here that, you know, in terms of like your love life, when it comes to like being partnered, okay? There are some, okay, I'm getting two different messages. There are some specifics that maybe need, that you need to flesh out, okay? In terms of what, uh, like I said, what that kind of like affirmed love will look like for you, okay? But I also kind of hear in this pile that like, now I'm not gonna assume that all of you are single but that like maybe you one or two things you either need to explore a bit more right um experiment a bit more that's what I'm getting experiment a bit more get gather some more information that can also be the six of angels it can be about gathering some information so that you can have a, a clear way forward or a clear like uh, understanding of the direction that you want to go in okay and you know what I'm saying you kind of gotta like think about some things right so it could be experimenting and exploring with other people or it could just be doing some journaling y'all or doing some reflection or um yeah specifically doing some reflection some kind of thing some things like that right um there may be some resources out there that are helpful to y'all like I said with um if you want to look into the five, what is that? The five love languages. That's one of those ones that is very popular to recommend when it comes to considering, like, you know what I'm saying? Your needs. 
and relationship but also I think like the Gottman Institute is something I, I they have some good resources I'll put it in the description box um under resources but uh, they could have something that will, could be useful to you again there are other there are so many like love tarot readers on youtube <laughs> be careful i mean but be careful with all information right um with seeking any kind of info um i'm trying to see if there's anything else that wants to come through to be recommended and saying, or it could just be like you know what i'm saying looking up pictures i think they have like love couples pages or like love memes or something like that it could just it could be as simple as that right exploring those things i think that there's an account on instagram it's called like wholesome memes <laughs> excuse me and i like to <laughs> gather some memes from there because they'll have some very silly cute things and um on there and i want to say silly cute but it also is it gets a little kinky on that page but um yeah those things can kind of give you an idea of what it is that you like and maybe don't like or you know what i'm saying what would affirm to you like a good i love you right like so for example i am uh somebody who loves my forehead kisses i think i said this in another video my god <laughs> y'all gonna know i love my me some forehead kisses but forehead kisses are very very blessed to me right like yes that is a way to let you let me know that I am loved, right? You give me a forehead kiss or you give me like a body lay or something like that, right? And so like there's like a meme on that page that's like, you know, it's like Plankton holding up the heart and they put the words in there like, come over and <laughs> rail me and then give me a body lay after or rail me and then kiss me on the forehead good night, something like that. Like I said, kind of kinky. But those kinds of things, um, I save those things and then I also made my own memes because you know what I'm saying those are things that I relate to that I resonate with that give me a better understanding again a clear trajectory of you know having an what having an affirmed love in my life looks like or what it you know what it looks like for me so that's just kind of what I get from here I do see that if you are you if you are not partnered if you're not dating you may be um moving around with a few different dates you may have some a new person come into your life or maybe uh, a a different love offer a new love offer from someone that you um were already talking to or you may just have somebody that comes in and brings a bit more romance into your life i do get that right i won't say whether or not you know what the outcome of that relationship not even the outcome but what that relationship can grow to be but i do see that it is an opportunity for you to grow your understanding of love in your life right so it'll give you like i said with spice rack it's a um it says here ancestors or spirits giving you a message ritual or recipe to help you and i like to think of it as a recipe like you know what i'm saying whoever this person is or whoever these people are because it could be more than one person too right whoever these people are this person is you know what i'm saying they're they're adding to that knowledge right they're adding to whatever it is um they're yeah they're giving you a taste of of maybe that love that or they're giving you a taste of that love that will be affirming to you right um and i hear that this doesn't have to happen in the realm of like romance romance but it can uh also happen with friends and things as well right like you may have someone one of your friends take you out on a date or something like that and it's like oh i do like to be like you know whatever the date is or however y'all spend time together or whatever like oh i do love when we can just sit and read together like you know i do that with my friends sometimes where we just sit and read um on the phone and so it's like oh i do love that so maybe that's just uh that's adding to your repertoire of um those things that make you feel loved okay it becomes clearer to you 
if that is what you want okay so I'm gonna excuse me I'm just gonna close this out with a final message pilot one because I think we are about done okay you got the queen of stars illuminator okay essentially what I get from this is that you have two things <laughs> I'm always getting more than one that you have um I want to say it like this and I'll just say it like this and I'll hold back you have absolutely a lot of control a lot more um yeah I'll just say it this way you have a lot of control in your love life right like you you have the power to make something shift and to and to make something of your love life okay like you have it within you to make your love life what it is that you want it to be right or contribute to that so that you can gain the love life that you want and deserve okay it just may take you know what i'm saying putting some pieces together but once you do once you like can hold on to that my pile one like and just really like go forward with some confidence go forward like instead of this five of angels energy where it's like oh i just i can't i just can't deal with all of this go for it with some confidence even if it doesn't work out right like even if it even if these love offers don't last beyond a day right like you know go forward empowered knowing that like like i said like you have more control and more power to um uh put your love life together okay okay you got it you can do it okay okay pile one all right <laughs> please let me know right like you know what i'm saying let me know what those i don't want to say what those love languages are but yeah what you discover about yourself and in the kind of romance that you you are looking for you know let me know when you get those moments of being affirmed and loved like where it's like yes i feel loved i felt loved when xyz happened or when this person did this for me or when i did this for myself that could also be a thing to pile on um let me know in the comments I would absolutely appreciate it or if you want to let me know in the strawberry letter that is absolutely okay too I told you I will read them and if it's in the comments I will respond I am looking forward to hearing about it pile one I'm, I'm looking forward to you being affirmed in the love that you desire <laughs> okay all right so with that being said I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time. All right, pile two. If you chose this blue lighter that is not coming up as blue in the camera, <laughs> but is blue, I promise you it's blue. Um, this is your stop. This is your this is your message, your love life message. I'm super, super excited to share with you okay so just based off of the lighter i will say that all right just one thing is coming up and that is about communication pile two maybe something maybe communication is something that you know you very strongly value in your love life um yeah <laughs> i thought i was gonna have to say more but it's that was really it uh, I just feel like communication is something that you very much so value in your love life situation. Okay, so I'll just get into the first card. Mm, pile two. Okay. All right. So pile two. And this is this is actually good because um this is actually good in that it goes with the message that I got off the blue lighter when I was talking about how communication is something that you value. Because when I was at first, what I was going to say is like, you may you may have had issues with communication in your relationships. But I feel like as soon as I was about to say it, it was like, mm -mm, that's not what I'm feeling. Because like, it feels like, okay, like, you know, communication just may be at the forefront. So maybe something that you needed or wanted to communicate has been successfully communicated you have very su successful communication in your love life you know what i'm saying whether it's you know talking to your partner 
or talking to potential suitors or whatever like that like you're coming across very well you're being heard well um you're being um taken in very well you may have had a lot i just hear that you you get a lot of success <laughs> with with communication in your love life however it looks right like even if you got the whole multiple situationships going on like you know how to you know, talk to people so that, you know what I'm saying, they can still be a part of, they can, that y'all have an understanding, okay? I will put it that way. And that's the, shout out to you, Pile 2. Shout out to your ass, Pile 2. Yeah, y'all are probably in like, I feel like you probably worked very diligently on communication. Some of you may feel like you don't communicate very well or like you don't, you aren't heard. But that's for very few of you. I feel like largely for anyone who chose Pile 2. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> for anybody who chose Pile 2, y'all have figured out and you continue to figure out how to communicate effectively. And as I was shuffling to get more messages, this card came out to increase flexibility, which always reminds me to meet people where they are, right? That's my card of meeting people where they are, right? So that's why I was like, even if you in like a, a situation ship, even if you're like what, you know what I'm saying, going through, I didn't say this, but this could also be for people going through like a breakup or something like that, just the, the entirety of the readings, right? Um, you know? You're still able to meet people where they are. You're like, oh, my, okay, I understand. Maybe this didn't work out, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? You ain't leave or it didn't end on some messed up stuff or it didn't end um, in a way where everybody involved didn't feel understood or felt like they got their peace off or that they, yeah. But I feel like most of you all in this pile may be partnered or you got somebody um that you are really kicking it with you're really very much so vibing with and it's just signaling success i'll just say that too because it's there <laughs> it's signaling success it is signaling that um you and the other person or the other people whoever it is you know you're finding some common ground in your partnership you, you um have some common ground and also just a way of working with each other, a way of uh, interacting with each other that works for you both, however it is, or works for you all, however that is. All right. Pile two, you may be my shortest pile. <laughs> okay. Pile two may be my shortest pile because y'all went straight for the guzzler. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. Okay, all right, y'all got like too many messages coming out at once through my kitchen oracle. But I will take, um, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at these at, at the very least. Okay, so again, okay, you're meeting people where they, they're at. Um, this message around teapot, remembering the deceased loved ones, intending to your responsibilities, keep your word, having integrity. What I will say, and then you got spoons up here, which is honor your capacity, prioritize the necessity, and acknowledging your care needs. Okay, so what I, what I get from that, and I'm going to probably have to clarify some of these because I feel like a few different messages wanted to come out from pile two because um you know what i'm saying you kind of already got this like air of success going on but now it's kind of like differentiating you all in this pile a little bit so i'm just gonna read what comes up and when i say differentiate it means just like you know some messages may be for a group of people within this pile not everybody okay but generally with spoons basically what I already talked about with like you have a way of working with 
the other person or the other people that are involved in your love life in a way that like you know everything tends to feel fairly balanced it feels like you know everybody is getting their needs met or at least they're getting their needs acknowledged right and there's an acceptance around that right there's a like all right cool you know i can work with that kind of energy around that i mean zoom in <laughs> with teapot i don't even know i hold you okay so this is very particular for teapot if you have a partner okay if you have a partner if you are the partner or however your situation is where um y'all have people who recently passed maybe people that you know mutually or not at all right maybe it's just something that you've learned about um the people in your love life or the person in your love life over time or as y'all have gotten to know each other um if y'all have people <laughs> that have passed on uh i do get the message to either talk about them in your partnership or to honor them so i don't know i don't know who would practice like ancestral veneration or something like that um and it doesn't have to be somebody that passed on recently it could just be somebody that was important to the person or the people you're involved with but it's like you know tend to those people tend to them you can tend to them by talking about them you can tend to them like i said if one or both of you does some kind of ancestral veneration um, and that doesn't have to look like having the whole altar thing. That can just look like, you know what I'm saying? Like every year on that person's birthday, you know, you hold a celebration or the person that you're with or talking to is holding that celebration. Um, it could be things like that. Like it, somehow I'm finding that that's important to your partnership. It's creating some like closeness to you all, to you, yeah, to you all. And that is, um, honoring again that's like again another way of successfully <laughs> creating a dynamic between everybody involved where everybody feels cared for like they can work with one another they can really um yeah they can work with one another and they know how to be with another person you gained a lot of success here pile two i'm so happy for you <laughs> um so yeah just here to keep up with that you know what i'm saying um if you become a safe space for your partner or partners to talk about this kind of thing or you know your companion whoever right to talk about deceased loved ones um i'm hearing that the spirits really love that the ancestors that may make it um easy for your partnership and they don't have to be completely involved in your partnership sometimes ancestors will get involved in y'all's relationships but i don't get that strong feeling here it could just be that it's very helpful um it's just very helpful to cultivate trust and continued success in your partnership to make space for that right and whatever is going on and if you're like single and you ain't even talking to nobody I, maybe this is not your pile but also if that is the case um you know what i'm saying maybe that's something to um, be open towards in your future endeavors right okay um uh, with straw well okay i wanted to address lids over here with lies deception sneaky unhelpful energy of people so i kind of feel like this is a card in the past um maybe you've dealt with that before in your partnerships and this is why like i said in the beginning that communication is something that you value because it is not you know what I'm saying? You've been in a situation where there's been some unhelpful energy or some unhelpfulness in your communication and in what it is that you have, you know what I'm saying? How you and people in the past have, you know, worked with each other before. This is kind of where I feel like you've you've grown a lot pile to whoever y'all are y'all have grown a lot and when it comes to relationships and when it comes to relating that like okay you work to be better this could also mean <laughs> i'm hearing this and i don't mean to call nobody out but this could also mean that you know y'all could have been liars okay y'all could have been lying or y'all could have been you know what i'm saying playing the field kind of crazy in the past 
right? Like y'all was out here probably, <laughs> I don't know why this is coming up, but lying about your age, lying about your name, lying about where you worked, lying <laughs> about little stuff, big things as well. Like I feel like that could be both in. Like y'all could have been the liars prior to, I hate to call y'all out like this <laughs> if that's the case. Or like you could have just dealt with a lot of um, deception in the past in your partnerships. And so as a result of that, you have focused on being much more clear in how you communicate. You worked on how you communicate so that, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, everybody involved can feel like, okay, I can work with this. This is stable ground. We can, you know what I'm saying, create a dynamic that works for us instead of trying to, I guess, force something or make it into something that is not based off of these lies and deceptions, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to play no roles. It's, yeah, like with the two of trees back here, it's like this is not about playing roles. It's about meeting each other, meeting everybody where they are. Okay. All right, Kyle. I'm going to get one Ooh, last message. I'll be hitting the hell out of this tripod. But again, you got this message of success, victory, and accomplishment. I didn't point that out, <laughs> but um, with dish soap. So again, like you, you, you made some strides, Kyle, too. And I feel like your love life is definitely reflecting that. Okay, last message for my Kyle, too. Five of stars, diversity. I'm going to clarify that. Eight of stars, surge. And then the bottom of the deck, queen of angels, visionary. Okay. With this. Now, this is, this is some contentious energy because this is so funny. Because in pile one, we had the five of uh angels going into the six of angels at the very end and then here we start off with the six of stars to end off with the five of stars funny stuff and then you got all this stars energy right which is about the will about action inertia things like that so okay your closing message pile two um you got diversity and surge Okay, this is a little different than what we talked about before. Excuse me. But I think it's, it's coming in as a... Yeah, it's coming in as a warning. Something to watch out for in your partnership upcoming. Or what in your love life situation upcoming. Right? You may definitely get some... <laughs> you may definitely get some chances. Some... Different chances than what you're used to. Um, okay, this is all making sense to me. Now, you may be getting some different chances than you're used to to test these communication skills. Okay? Uh, yeah. And this may come up in the form of diversity. So maybe something will... No, I'm getting... Not even maybe. Like something is coming up through your partnerships that may kind of cause a bit of like tension or a bit of like antagonism. This is probably also why lids came out too, right? Some unhelpful energy or people or situations may start to come up in your partnership. And I kind of feel like this is more of a test. Okay. So don't get too like scared and like wanting to run away. This is an opportunity pile to to utilize those skills to still carry you forward, right? Because you have the opportunity to carry you forward with this eight of stars surge and to move forward in your love life. Whatever moving forward in your love life looks for you at this time, right? Um, it could just be about, you know, moving past whatever this diversity is and just, um, you know, getting that out the way or it could, be, uh, it could look like taking another step, right? Or... Um, getting to a, another milestone that you and the person or these people wanted to get to. Okay, but I do see that with Five of Stars diversity, there is something that may come up, something that comes up that is going to put those communication skills to the test. 
okay? You already know what to do, Cloud Two. You already, you know what I'm saying? You may gotta go to the drawing board and you may have to like retype the message out a few times or, you know, like, hey, babe, can we schedule a time to talk? Use those communication skills. They will definitely um, evolve throughout whatever this situation is. But I think it's important to say that it is an opportunity and not something that is um, attempting to, uh, to tear your partnership up, okay? It's not something that's trying to like bring you down. It can feel like that. It can be like, ugh, this is very agitating. Um, it could be just some blockages. Thank you, Spirit, because that card wanted to come out earlier, and I was like, no, because <laughs> it was just too many cards on the table already. But blockages, I did see blockages, and yeah, you know, it. You could just be that. It's some stuff involved in that. So um, it could be some blockages that come up that just kind of brings some worry or some trouble into your partnership with this queen of swords at the bottom, y'all. Queen of angels at the bottom. Visionary, you, like I said, lean back into those skills that you have cultivated, those communication skills, and, you know, continue to move forward in love and light in your relationship or in your love life, pile two. Okay, so with that being said, pile two, please share that share that love that y'all are experiencing. Share those communication tips because I, I be needing them, <laughs> right? And I'm sure somebody else could use them as well. Like you know how how it is that you approach maybe those difficult situations or those blockages or those obstacles that you may face in your partnership. You know, let let me know pile two in the comments or in the strawberry letter right or if you want to go deeper suggest it as a topic and we can do it on the channel at some point in time but until then pile two let me know let me know what those those tactics are that you're using right how you get to meet your partner or the people that you're involved with where they are right what makes it easy for you to do that you gotta have some extra compassion in your pocket like What's going on, okay? And also, just for funs, for shits and giggles, let me know about this lion ass energy you was doing, Pile 2. Let me know if y'all was out here lying. What y'all was lying about. Because I used to be somebody that lied about my name, like, a lot when I was growing up. So, <laughs> let me know what y'all have overcome in the lying department. Alright, Pile 2. Ah, this is y'all message. I hope it has blessed y'all and I really do wish y'all continued progress and love in your love life. Genuinely. Until next time, y'all. All right, pile three. <laughs> we are here at my last stop for this general pick a card. Um, you, pile three, have chosen the watercolored, multicolored rose lighter for your love life message um and already from the rose i just get that you're somebody who <laughs> doesn't limit their love just to one person or like you don't limit um where you receive love from right so um you might be one of them people that's like real social right like you somebody in the in the grocery storyline that you know would just um talk to anybody would just you know get close with anybody and would just share a moment of love with them just because right so you don't limit your idea of love or like receiving love or giving love just to a one person monogamous partnership relationship right like you pile three are somebody that takes and gives love wherever love can be taken and given i just feel this with this lighter that you just have a very very open heart pile three a very very open heart you know you are willing to just you know whether it's between friends co-workers family your pet the trees outside, 
like as far as your love life goes tile three like you like i said you just you give and take love wherever it can be given and taken how wonderful okay so the card yep <laughs> we have this here with the two of angels balance i kind of spoke on this already but you may be very either communicative uh pile three or very flirtatious even like or you just have a personality where it's like you know you can get into um a conversation with anybody you can talk to anybody anybody feel like they can talk to you um like i said i, I don't know why i'm seeing in the wings of this card right like these hearts it's just like no matter where you are no matter <laughs> where you are where you go how you get there you have this way of go of going about things that's um just very open to people and and to others and to yourself and just sharing these pockets of love okay okay so i'm gonna get some more messages really quick but yeah <laughs> Y'all are very sweet, Pile 3. So as far as your love life goes, I feel like, you know, there's just no limitation to that. Okay? You know, it may not feel settled, but there's no limitation to that. Okay. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. This actually came out first. Ten of Stars, Hoarding, Six of Angels, Transition, Two of Hearts, Union, and Two of Trees, Flexibility. Okay, all right, Pile 3. All right, so I was talking about how your hearts are already very open, that you are just really mingling. You know, Pile 3 may be the, the pile that mingles with a lot of different folks. But what I'm also kind of seeing here, Pile 3, is that you may want to still build a love with someone, okay? Like, yes, you are not limited at all to the love that you give and receive, but it's like, I feel like you may want a partnership, Pile 3. So you're trying to, like... You know, because with the Ten of Stars hoarding, it's like you have, you still, even with all the love that you give and receive, you still have some pent up energy. You got some, you got, you got something that you specifically want, a, a, a particular partnership or companionship that you specifically want. And we can kind of see this with the Two of Angels as well. Um, maybe starting to go along that process because it's like, you know, like, again, like you, there's some... You, you want a particular kind of companionship, a, a kind of partnership, you know. <laughs> you want you want someone to be a holder of a particular kind of love, okay? You, yeah, I just get the sense that you want a partnership, pile three. And so in some ways, you're, you may be gearing up for that. You may be learning about some things regarding partnership. You may be you know maybe taking some classes or maybe um, I don't know why I'm getting like the thought of you know watching a few romance movies or shows or they got some really good romance animes y'all I love I love my <laughs> my romance animes um but yeah you may be like watching stuff like that or just engaging with certain stuff like that and you know, um, I just get the sense that you are gearing up to um, find the kind of partnership that you're looking for. So you may be uh, setting up some dates for yourself or, you know what I'm saying, hitting some people up, you know, actually being like, oh, you know, sliding in some DMs in a, in a very intentional way. Um, you know, you, you, I feel like how through you're a bit more productive <laughs> with this your love life like you're like huh like you're very set out to accomplish something here okay if you're like one of the you know one of our folks that dates a mary 
or like you know you just uh, I ain't even gonna say it that way you just have very specific goals in mind, so you, mind and you're setting yourself up pile three to be able to have that in your life and wonderful for you for a love life message okay I'm wishing you I'm wishing you the best on this because like I don't know if I said this I think I said this in the uh what is that the self-love or another video of mine on my channel I think it's called uh what can you do to love yourself it was like a self-love message but um you know I was saying on that video that you don't have to I forgot where I was going with that <laughs> I absolutely forgot where I was going with it let me see if it'll come up Oh, yes, that you don't have to be afraid to, um, like, say that you need love, right? Like, it's one of the messages on there, I can't remember which pile it was, but one of the messages for the piles was that it is okay to claim that you want love for yourself or that you want companionship or partnership or you want to experience that. That's an okay thing to say out loud <laughs> and, to, and to desire for yourself. And I think Pile 3, you understand that. And I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> I am. Because to be like, I, you know, I really want a partnership. And then to go after that, you know, uh, I don't know why I want to say like some people or, you know, maybe in the past or something like that, it would be considered a fool's journey, right? Like, a silly a silly little quest to go on a very insignificant thing but I think that because Pio 3 you are so loving and you you know what I'm saying you are so in touch with the love that is around you it's like you know you, you're just uh you're very intentional or you're very set on <sighs> building a partnership that can hold a particular kind of love that uh, you're looking for okay all right I'm gonna pull a few more things I thought I lost my cards <laughs> thought I lost my cards all right Any more messages for pile three okay <laughs> I don't make it up I promise you I don't okay so you got tongs which is you have the upper hand or ability to influence the situation stove top cooking up something good alchemy active work hard work soon paying off cutting board for wisdom insight and good judgment and whisk mix things up try a different method or alternative or break down and rearrange the process for a new variation and then at the bottom of the deck so freaking cute pile three this is so lovely. I don't think it's going to focus, but um, this is cookie sheet for heartfelt moments, bonding with someone special, connections, and relationships. So, like I said, I don't make it up. I try not to. I'm feeling the need to call. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't make this up. I really don't. Okay. So, first message that I'm getting from this is that for whisk. Um, I ain't saying anything is wrong with the process that you're going with, but I do get like a message that maybe, you know, you could do things a bit differently, right? So if you used to go into a certain place and, and receiving dates, I'm not saying there's anything wrong or talking to people, getting to know people or never getting numbers, however you do it. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe some alternative approaches may share with you, uh, may give you what you're looking for okay all right so you could like i said you may be somebody that talks to people in the grocery store or maybe it's not even that you switch up the place maybe you know you switch up your approach you know this can look like a lot of different things depending on the person um so i'm just throwing out examples but you know feel free <laughs> See, so, you know, imagine on your own, right? Because you got cutting board for wisdom, insight, and good judgment. So, you know, you, you kind of know. You you got a sense. And I think you have that sense because, like I said, you ain't, you ain't new to love. You just true to love, pile three. <laughs> and so, like, you know, you, you, 
you have some discernment in that department to kind of like, you know, be maybe a bit more, um, what is that? Like, you, you know how to be with the moment, okay? Like I said, if you the kind of person that stand in line at the grocery store and will strike up a conversation with any damn body, and, you know what I'm saying, have yourself a good laugh to the car, or, you know what I'm saying, have a good moment with a person in a very, you know, random place or whatever. The, the clerk behind the, you know, the cashier, right? Or, like, you know, maybe you are just very social, um, you know, you tend to have a way of just kind of similar to a different pile, right? Where you can meet pretty much anybody anywhere, right? Like, you find connections in a lot of different people in a lot of different moments. And so, you know, you have the wisdom and the insight in, in this pursuing of a partnership and in, in the pursuing of a companionship to, you know, still have that flexibility and still, you know, kind of have that charisma <laughs> and that personality that you already have and just be with the moment, you know what I'm saying? And you won't really have to, like, think too hard, okay? I think I'm thinking harder than you, Leo Pile 3, unlike <laughs> the different approaches that you could have in such a situation, but, you know, we're in such the situations, but you know, um, <laughs> you got it. You know what to do. You got the upper hand, pile three. I'm just really the messenger here. You may be dating around a bit, but a bit, because I feel, I feel like it won't really be long. I don't want to give it, because like that's uh, subjective, right? I can't tell you what long is for you or for someone else because we may have two different time frames in mind but I feel like because you kind of you, you know what I'm saying because you have that good wisdom and insight because you know what I'm saying you got so top and at the bottom you got hard work soon paying off so it's like because you've been putting in that work because you, you just have that understanding, that insight, that good judgment, and you've been building on that and working on that and all of that stuff, you, you, you're going to grasp and get that partnership that you're looking for, pile three. I feel like I can say that with confidence, and that's so cool, okay? Okay, look, this came out again, and then a taste of something good to come. I'm wishing you the best, Pile 3. I'm so happy for you. I am legitimately so happy for you, Pile 3. Please let me know. Please let me know. You know what I'm saying? And if you got, like, a person in mind, if you, you know, however that's going for you, you know, at least, like, like it, like, yes, <laughs> like the video, let me know through a like, like, yes, that shit's hitting for me, but even more so, because that doesn't really tell me anything, but tell me in the comments, for real, like, about your love life, I am a romantic, like, loving person, which is why I was so excited to do this reading, I love, like, I love love, I love that whole, that whole bitch, okay, such a great thing to feel and to be a part of being alive, you know? And so I love hearing love stories and, and you know, I am one to cry <laughs> if a love scene really hits. So please, you know, share that with me. Share that with me either in the comments or through the strawberry letter that is linked below in the description box, you know, please. And hopefully, you know, someone else in the comments is inspired by your love story. And, you know, you give them some love and energy and all of that stuff, which I know you love to share that love, Pile 3. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Y'all got it. This, this made me feel really good to read. I am so excited to sleep after this. 
I'm going to have a good sleep because of y'all power three, knowing that love is happening out there, that y'all bonding and that y'all got like some, someone to hold, like good, good, good job. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, I hope this was helpful to you as much as it was helpful to me. And until next time, my friends.